the most broken thing I've ever seen in all of World of Warcraft history is going on right now, and it's about to take off in popularity unless this gets fixed. The rank one in the world Anubicon kill looks a little bit suspicious. This guy is doing 13,000 DPS, and this is almost double the DPS of everyone else in his entire raid. Well, if you look at his buffs, nothing really looks suspicious right here if you're just looking at it at face value, but that's not what's really important. If we go to the overall and look at his buffs, you can see that there's 23 aspects of this buff called Flame of the Seer. And the reason why we cannot detect this in combat for bosses, and this is also the reason why Warcraft logs cannot do anything about it, is because the buff doesn't fall off during that boss fight, so they technically can't tell if you got the buff before the boss and it doesn't fall off during the boss that you even have it. This means it is pretty much indetectable by the logs, and Warcraft logs can't do anything about it. What is this buff? Well, it gives you... 400 extra spell power for two minutes. Now you might think 400 extra spell power might not seem like too ridiculous of a buff, but that's not even close to the biggest ordeal. Huge shout out to Arrow for sending me all of this footage right here and helping me put together this video. But now look, if he actually goes and gets four of these mobs, five of these mobs, he now has five of these buffs. That's two thousand spell damage for two minutes and if it doesn't fall off on a boss fight you can see he has now 4100 spell damage this is literally the most broken thing i've ever seen in world of warcraft history especially in wow classic for parsing it is unbelievable and the damage you can do with this is going to be completely unmatched there's nothing that can ever come close to parsing or logs with this buff people will get summoned into the boss fights and then kill the bosses with this buff you can see without any buffs on him no bloodlust or anything he's already doing 10k dps right now as a normal arcane mage it's actually way more busted than mages having infinite mana. So what can we do about this and what can be done? Well, in an ideal world, Blizzard can kind of deal with this. If you guys want to get a crazy parse this week, I guess I should tell you to go to Grizzly Hills and get this buff. But realistically, the mage discord is all over it. They are phenomenal. We will see absolutely unbeatable parses happen this week unless this is patched ASAP and there's nothing we can do about it for any other classes. Now this isn't the only buff like this. Back in Karazhan you were able to stack buffs and go into Nether Spite and do insane damage there. Well if you send a mage there, go there, get the buffs, get summoned to this buff, get this buff, and then get summoned to the raid again, we'll see some ridiculous parses. And don't for a second think that people won't do something this degenerate. Wow, classic players will do this. We will see these logs just start popping off. And the sad thing is there's kind of a couple other buffs or debuffs of this nature around the world. There is actually a haste debuff that you can get that I didn't want anybody finding out about so we'll see if that pops up in the world soon or not so with that being said huge shout out to arrow one more time for sending me this footage also guys you can now finally check out the classic life podcasts all over anywhere you are listening to your podcasts also you can actually watch the videos for them now if you have spotify anything like that so make sure to check those out and if you want to see any more information of course make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you all on the next one